Good evening. Hey, good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Herman. Yo te animaría a poner a continuar trabajando quiero volver a jugar con nosotros. Las cosas de conseguir. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> good evening, people. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening.
Okay, people, let's get it started this evening. Welcome one more time. I hope you had a nice weekend. Hello? It's raining, raining. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I hope you won't have any problem with the with the internet. Uh, I hope you had a nice Father's Day celebration. A nice Father's Day weekend. We are going to start tonight with the first attendance of the evening. Okay. Okay, so please remember cameras on and respond when I call your name. Okay. Turn on your cameras, people. And this is a, re <clears throat> a request for the attendance. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present, teacher. Hey, good. welcome, Alba. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea Sofia. Ajet. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Consuelo, not yet. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Never showed up. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, good evening. Welcome. Herman Enrique Gonzalez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Good, welcome. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Jose Abel, Ayet. Jose Miguel Maza. Ayet. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay, welcome. Pedro yeah. Alexander Osorto. Pedro, Magent. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good, welcome. Thanks. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández. Oh, Wendy Lisette Gomez. Wendy. Present. Present. Okay, welcome. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good, welcome. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Good, welcome. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am. Welcome. Okay. Good. 
<clears throat> okay, tonight we are going to finish unit one. I hope you um you have done all the exercises from unit one. Not only totally. let me check how are you doing with this. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Oh my God. Only one. Only two students have finished unit one. That is not good, guys. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, catorce de ustedes que no han hecho ni un tan solo ejercicio de la unidad uno. Wow, nunca me había pasado esto. ¿Qué pasó? Van a tener que desvelarse esta noche, chicos. Porque mañana entrego esas notas. Mañana, primera hora. Si no. Ok, teacher, no problem. Zero. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. No, oh, maybe sí. three or four. <laughs> 30 minutes. Yo creo que 30 minutos después de las 10 lo hacen. Vamos a ver. Que vienen del módulo 1 y del módulo 2. Pero sí, please, tonight. No more than tonight. Okay. Hasta la unidad 1, teacher. Sí, unidad 1, 4 o 5 tareas o 5. Ok. Cinco I'm yeah. going to do it. Yeah, please. After the class. Yes, uh, 30 minutes the most. Ok, people. Y de ahí los solo dos lo han terminado. De ahí hay otros que han hecho el 80%, o sea, cuatro tareas, les falta la de hoy. Y otros que han hecho seis, ¿verdad? Solo tres tareas, faltando. Y catorce, cero. Bueno, hoy terminemos, hoy terminemos. Así que, eh, bueno, vamos con la unit four quickly, uh, lesson four, unit one, to finish everything to do. Okay, at the end of the class, you will be able to discuss uh, discuss and write about the reputation of your company. Interesting. The reputation of your company. Look, we, are, we have some questions here, three questions. One, what is reputation? Two, how do businesses build their reputation? And three, what is the reputation of the place you work for? You, not your, you. What is the reputation of your company? So three questions. What is reputation? Think about that, discuss that in, I'm gonna send you to working groups. 
Okay, I want you to discuss these three questions. Number one, what is reputation? In a short sentence, well, reputation is this. Number two, how do businesses, how do companies build their reputation? What uh, do companies do to create, to build a good reputation? Three, what is the reputation of your company? What is the reputation of the place you work for, your company? Okay. Think about that, please. Let's work on these three questions. I'm going to send you to work in groups. I'll give you 10 minutes to discuss those questions. Okay, let me form the groups. One, two, three, four, four groups. Okay, join your groups, please, and talk about that. Talk about those questions on activity one. See you in 10 minutes. Hello, Consuelo. Hola, profe. Buenas noches. Que me agarro el agua. Ahorita me vamos conectando. Lo siento. Te dejes agarrar. Ok. <laughs> the personal session at the end of the class is with you, Consuelo. Vaya, teacher. <laughs> And join the group. Please go to your group. We are going to work on activity one in groups. Bye. And Wilbur, go to your group, please, Wilbur. Can you see the invitation, Consuelo? No, no ha caído nada. Okay. Espérate, no lo vayas a, a tocar, no lo vayas a tocar, que te voy a mover a mi cara, a ver. Vale, ahora. Ahora sí, vale. Pedro, we are working in groups, ok, see you. Hello teacher, me sacó cuando entró a los grupos. Oh. Vamos a ver. De nuevo. Vaya. Yeah.
Hola. Teacher. No sé si nos ayuda, Hello, teacher, teacher, para habilitar, para compartir pantalla. Ah, ok. Ahí está ya. Uh, teacher, vamos a contestar esas tres preguntas, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es la reputación? Uh -huh. ¿Para cuál es? La reputación que tiene el trabajo, de estamos y cómo se logra, dijimos, con lo de la reputación. Exacto. Entonces, esas tres preguntas son, ¿verdad, Ticho? Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Tiene que ser corta o, yeah. o larga la respuesta? No. Short okay. answers. Ok. 
Okay, see you. See you.
Okay, welcome back. So tell me, what is reputation for you? What do you what do you understand for reputation? Uh, the reputation are things that people know or consider about the company. These are so good, so so or bad. Ah, okay. Any other idea? Okay, so uh, the second question is, how do businesses build their reputation? Uh, this result of the behavior developer by the companies over time and, and its ability to distribute value to stakeholders. Okay. Anything else? Um, the reputation is good when the people find the thing or service they look for in a company or anything else. Mm -hmm. The reputation is when the treatment of customer is good. Okay. Good. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, when, what is the reputation of your company? I like to hear some of you. What is I, the uh -huh. and based on the based on the net promoter score, the reputation of my company is good, becoming to very good. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. somebody else. What is the reputation? Is it, and NPS uh, report. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. And your company's people. What What is the reputation? What do people think? What is the people's opinion about your company? It is a company recon like recognized for providing good customer service and managing a variety of products responding to customer quickly. Ah, okay, interesting. How do you work? Vamos a nuestro pigas. Okay. Aha, tell me. The others, to talk to me about your company. What is the reputation of your company? The reputation is for the brand it represents. Uh -huh. and, and what is the reputation of your company? What is, the, it's, it's what is for, people's opinion about your company? It's for the brand. Caterpillar brand. Okay, so but my question is, what is the people's, what is people's opinion about uh, General de Equipos? Yeah. Um, what? Good service. Good service. It's opinion, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, Sell me, Vendame. company, Vendame su compañía. Ver. They Tell say me. they say the original part. Ah, okay. And um, and good service. Uh -huh. um, um, muchas otras cosas más que no me acuerdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. 
I think uh, in our company, good reputation because uh, we have uh, department quality when when the customer have problem with your product. Uh, we try, we trying to resolve problem uh, uh, fast, fast time or en lo, en lo más pronto que se pueda. Uh, and try uh, the customer uh, have satisfaction. Okay. Every time, every time. And okay. prepare uh, our product or food uh, with high quality. Okay. Justin. A ver, people, ¿cómo se dice lo más pronto que se pueda? Early, no. Soon as possible. As soon as possible. ¿Se acuerda? ASAP. A Or ASAP. Ajá. ASAP. Es hasta un acrónimo tienen los gringos. ¿Verdad? Yes. Les piden algo. ASAP. ASAP. As soon as possible. Ya, ah, eso quiere decir as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I want this ASAP, le van a decir. Quiere decir as soon as possible, lo más pronto que se pueda. Okay, very good. Now, let's read the conversation we have here. Okay. We have this conversation on these people talking about their companies. Uh, Okay. Let me read this conversation and record, record it in WhatsApp. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay, good. One more time. Listen. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Now please repeat after me. So Jessica, what does your company do? So Jessica, so Jessica what does your company, does your company, do? Your company do? do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. At Rex, At Rex we produce clothes, clothes, clothes for, kids. For, kids. for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? I see. I see. I see. What is and what, what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. 
breaks breaks and now for the mother things and inquiry the great are you happy to work for rex Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Now I am Daniel and you are Jessica. Okay. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, At Rex. Rex. we produce, produce clothes, clothes for, kids. for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? I Rex, Rex is known for the modern, modern design, design and, and the quality of, of the clothes we make. Of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. 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 You are Daniel and I am Jessica. You begin. One, two, three. So, Jessica, so, 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 your Jessica company what does your company, your company do? do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. At Rex, I see. I see. I see. I see. And what is, what is snow for? Snow for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Right. 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 And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. Jessica. You're right. Great. 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 What is Rex known for? Okay, conocida por. What is Rex known for? La pregunta en sí significa por qué es conocida Rex. ¿Verdad? O sea, por qué la gente eh, conoce a Rex. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que la gente conoce? What is Rex known for? ¿Por qué es conocida Rex? Rex es conocida por the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Okay. Now, uh, I will give you other 10 minutes or maybe 15 to practice the conversation in pairs and to check these 
sentences true or false. Okay, say if the statements below are true or false. According to the conversation, you have to check true or false. All right. Okay. <clears throat> A ver, um, los grupos, recuerdo que solo Wendy Ramírez me dijo que estaba con problemas para poder hablar. Entonces tenemos cuántos somos? 15. Bien, ahí creo que todos los demás están listos para, para trabajar, ¿verdad? Porque van en parejas. You practice the conversation and check true or false the sentences on exercise three. Okay, join your groups, please, and practice.
Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance. So please, cameras on and respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea Sofia Benitez. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Okay, Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Consuelo te decía que hoy es la sesión contigo, pero no, ya pasó, ¿verdad? El jueves fue. Hoy me toca con Eric de Nilsson. Llega. Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Bueno, como Erika de Nilsson nunca viene, si alguien quiere tomar esos 10 minutos, me avisa. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present. Ok. Germán Enrique González. Present, teacher. Ok. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. José Abel Izaguirre. José Miguel Maza. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Karina Elizabeth. Presente, teacher. Está lento mi internet. Ok. Perdón. Ok. Magdiel Saúl García. Present teacher. I'm here. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Ok. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Present. Good. Wendy Marisela Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Wilberto Alberto, Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Ok. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Ok. Y Henry Alberto Pérez. Present teacher. Ok. Very good. Ok. Um, let's see. Okay, according to the conversation, tell me if these sentences are true or false. Number one, people know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. True or false? That is true. True. True, okay. True. Number two, people know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. True or false? True. 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 Okay. Number three, people see Rex as a prestigious company. True. 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 Number four, people rate Rex as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. That is false. Oh, okay. Because why? Why number four is false? It's true. Because it's as them. Uh -huh. Because it's one of the 10 most prestigious most companies. companies. <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, this form, as you see in this 
sentences. What is Rex known for? Rex is known for, Rex is recognized as, Rex is rated as. This form is what we know as passive voice. Passive voice. And what is passive voice? Well, this is passive voice. Uh, look at the sentences in this conversation. These sentences, estas que hemos marcado acá. Vamos a ver. Eh, se nos pide que comparemos. Las oraciones estas que hemos marcado acá con estas de ejercicio. People know Rex. People know Rex. People see Rex. People rate Rex. Contra estas. Rex is recognized. Rex is known. Al comparar, which sentences emphasize the doers of the actions? ¿Cuáles oraciones enfatizan en los que hacen la acción? La, los acciones no, recognize y rate, porque esos verbos se utilizan. No, recognize, y rate. ¿En cuál de las horas de los de las oraciones en cuáles se enfatiza en quién hace la acción? En la del ejercicio 2, son estas. O en la del ejercicio 3. En el ejercicio 2, tú. En el ejercicio 2, dicen ustedes, se enfatiza quién hace la acción. Yes, the, their personal is important for them. The doers. Que hacen la acción. En el ejercicio Dos, una de la traducción. It's a side three. Oh. The action is due for the people. Uh, so exercise due or exercise three? Someone else, de acuerdo. Vaya, es de que enfocarnos. The doers son los que hacen la acción de conocer, de ver, de reconocer, de calificar. ¿En cuáles oraciones se enfatiza el que lo hace? Una, dos, una, tres. I think is in part three. Part three. In the number three, probably because talk about people. Ah. Which sentences emphasize the actions to be known for, to be recognized as, to be rated as? And the number two. Number two. Oops. Okay, yes. Observe that we use the passive voice to emphasize the actions 
we use the passive voice to emphasize that the actions are more important than the doers. Okay? We use the passive voice to emphasize that the actions are more important than the doers or subjects. Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Rex is rated. El énfasis está en la acción, no en quien la hace. Teacher, but the passive voice is told in the past, no in simple present or... Ya, vamos a ver eso. Dime un momento. Vale, fíjense. ¿Cómo formamos la passive voice? To say a sentence in the passive voice. Vean, we use the verb do or the verb be. Vean el, los ejemplos estos. Para formar la passive voice usamos do or be. 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 Rex is recognized. Rex is rated. We use the verb be. Seguido por the present participle or the past participle of the main verb. Rex is recognized. Recognized is present participle or past participle. Hello. Past, past participle. Past participle. O sea, que, y aquí le voy a mostrar. My presentation. Okay. The passive voice. A passive sentence consists of. ¿Cómo formamos la passive? Bueno, tenemos un subject. Un ver, el verb be. En el tiempo que estamos utilizando. Ya vamos a hablar de eso. Verb be, que puede ser in present, in past, present progressive. El verbo to be es el que nos determina en qué tiempo está la oración. Luego, the past participle. ¿Ok? Y algunas veces, the agent, o sea, quien hace la acción. Algunas veces, no siempre. And or other complements. Básicamente, this is the structure for passive voice sentence. Subject. Por ejemplo, en las oraciones decimos Rex, es el sujeto. Verbo to be, is. Past participle, recognized. Esa oración, ¿verdad? En esa frase sería Rex, el sujeto. Luego el verbo to be is y luego, por ejemplo, tenemos diferentes verbos ahí. Uno, known. Rex is known. Rex es conocida. Y ahí lo que se dice. 
Rex is known. Esa es la estructura. Sujeto, verbo to be, past participle. Les muestro. Oh, no, no, no. El siguiente cuadro. Por ejemplo, esta oración. A salad is made. Una ensalada está hecha o es hecha by me. A salad is made by me. ¿Por qué esto está entre paréntesis? Porque es opcional esa información. Si es pertinente, se menciona. Si no, no hace falta. ¿Quién hace? A sala, subject, is, verb be, made, past participle. ¿Ok? En present continuous, a sala is being made. Esto está en present continuous. Esto es solo para que vean que el verbo to be es el que define si la oración está en presente, pasado. Futuro. A sala was made by me. Pasado. El was. Vean que el made es el mismo en todas. Una ensalada es hecha. Una ensalada está siendo hecha. Una ensalada fue hecha. ¿Ve? Futuro, a salad will be made. Una ensalada será hecha. Entonces, el verbo to be es el que nos va a determinar en qué tiempo está. En los ejercicios que estamos viendo en el libro, we are working only with the present tense. Solo estamos trabajando con el presente. Porque solo tenemos el verbo to be en presente. ¿Ve? Solo tenemos. It. Rex is recognized. Rex is rated. Entonces, estamos hablando en presente. Pero entonces, de nuevo, recuerden el, la estructura. Rex, subject, the verb be, and the past participle. Esa es cómo formamos el passive voice, que es donde enfatizamos en la acción. ¿Verdad? El énfasis está en la acción. Basically, that is passive voice. Eh, comparamos también acá para que vean la diferencia entre lo que se conoce como passive voice y active voice. Vale. La active voice, el énfasis está en el doer, o sea, quien hace la acción. En active voice. I sing the song. El énfasis está en la persona, yo. Yo canto la canción. En la passive voice, el énfasis no es la, la persona que hace la acción. Sino la acción misma. The song is sung by me. Yeah? Active voice. You play the song. Tú tocas la canción. The song is played by you. He plays the drum. The drum is played by him. She sings the song. 
The song is sung by her. De nuevo, pero siempre vean con darle estructura al sujeto y luego el verbo to be. Y luego el verbo en past part. Eso es lo que se conoce como más. ¿Ok? Any question, people? Entonces, la passive voice, repito, está formada por sujeto, verbo to be, y el past participle. Se usan cuando queremos eh, hacer como énfasis en el verbo, ¿verdad? En, sí, en la acción. Ok. Veamos. Let's take a look at these exercises in the book. Okay. Complete the sentences so using the passive voice of the verbs in parentheses. Vean el ejemplo, el verbo consider. Our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Y aquí tenemos solo los demás verbos que vamos a usar en la sola. Ok, hagan este ejercicio, por favor. Lo voy a colocar en grupos de nuevo. To work on that exercise. Okay, join your groups, please, and complete exercise five.
Profe, me sacó, se me cayó en la luz y me salió del grupo. Voy. Gracias, ay, disculpe. ¿Con quién estaba? Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama el señor. Carlos. Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Con una señora, pero. No voy a ver si Carlos. Vaya. Teacher, me puede asignar. Se me apagó el celular y me saco. Ok, ahorita. Ahí está.
beds, manuf manufacturer of brooms in the country. Our products are right as five of the most popular in the United States. Our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. The brand is sold as the leader. Ah, a tiempo. Tenemos una duda. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Cuál sería la conjugación del verbo saber? En pasado. Ajá, Jennifer lo encontró como que solo se le agrega, se reemplaza la porque es irregular, se cambia la O por la letra E. Mm, uh, but we use the past participle, not the simple past. That is the simple past. If you see the conversation, you see the verb in past participle. Go, go up to the conversation, please. Look at the conversation. La conversación. La conversación. ¿Lo sé? That is the past participle. No for. Known. Mm -hmm. New is the simple past. Known is the past participle. Okay. No. No. Yes. Okay. Yeah, ni usted ni yo. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Okay. See you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Our products are, uh, no, our products, uh huh. Can you please? All right. Okay, our products. Are rated. Rated. Our products are rated 
as five of the most popular in the United States. Okay. Number three, our customer service agents are perceived. Are perceived. Are perceived. Okay. The brand is up. Is so? Is it? No, so. No. Is seen. Is seen. Seen. Is seen. Remember, no se usa el simple past, se usa el past participle. The company is, is known our vegetables is what? Are rated. Are rated. Okay. Okay, let's practice. Let me read them. Our products are no, number one, our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Number two, our products are rated as five of the most popular in the United States. Number three, our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Four, the brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. Five, the company is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. Six, our vegetables are rated as the least contaminated of the national market. Okay. Let's practice this pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Our company is considered the best manufacturer, the best manufacturer of, of brown in the, the country. country. Two, our products are rated as five of the most popular in the United States. Our products are rated, are rated as, as five, five of the, the most, popular most popular in the United, United States. States. Three, our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Our, our customer, customer service, service agents agent are perceived, are perceived the most as the most in efficient sector. in the sector. Four. Four, the brand is seen as the leader in the energy drinks market. The brand, the brand is seen in as the leader in the energy the drinks market. market. Five, the company is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. The company is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. Six, Six, our vegetables are rated 
as the least contaminated of the national market. Our, Our vegetables are rather as the last, last contaminated of the national market. National market. Okay, very good. Now, I give you an example here. Um, five sentences or a fine line paragraph about the reputation of your company. Example, Inglés Corporativo is known as an excellent English academy. Inglés Corporativo is recognized as one of the best English academies in El Salvador. Inglés Corporativo is seen by teachers as a great company to work for. Inglés Corporativo is considered an efficient provider by INSFOR. Uh, para darles una idea. So, um, the idea is that you write some sentences about your company, about the reputation of your company. Okay, so take your time. We don't have, well, actually we don't have, right? but as you can start, start writing sentences about your company. Okay. De esta manera. Or from that, if we can see, we can see that. Okay. But we are going to stop here. I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening. And remember, um, uh, you need to complete the exercises of unit one tonight. Okay? Así que también, si alguien quiere tomar, quiere preguntar algo, o quiere un refuerzo, Están los 10 minutos disponibles porque la persona que le corresponde hoy no está. I'm going to take the second, the last attendance of the evening. Okay. Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Here, uh, Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Okay. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Si nadie va a ganar los 10 minutos, me voy a quedar yo. Okay, no problem. Okay. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. ¿Cómo está? Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Herman Enrique Gonzalez. Present teacher. Good. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Abelis Aguirre, didn't show up. Jose Miguel Maza, tampoco. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández. No. Wendy Lisset Gómez. Present. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Good, good night. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. Okay. William Alexander Paniagua. 
Let's say good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Perfect. Okay, people. Work on the homework, please. See you tomorrow. Estar hasta See las you tomorrow. 11 tomorrow. revisando your homeworks. Good night, teacher. Good night, people. See you. Good night, teacher. Good night, McDill. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Sara E. <laughs> okay. Hoy tenemos que entregarle las tareas, va, profe. Ahora sí. Se me había olvidado. Las tengo que hacer. Con respecto a lo del tema de ahora. Ajá. Este, del posit. Cuando recae la acción. Ese era voice posit. Passive voice. Passive voice. Y cuando uno lo hace. Eh, no, es sobre todo cuando el énfasis está en quien hace la acción. Es lo que conocemos como active voice. Aquí está la voz activa o active voice y la voz pasiva o passive voice. Uh -huh. Lo que se conoce como voz activa es cuando el énfasis está en quien hace la, la acción. acción. Por ejemplo, acá yo digo, I sing the song. Yo canto la canción. O sea, el énfasis está en reconocer que yo soy que canto. Que canto. ¿Verdad? Entonces es uh -huh. lo primero, ¿no? Eso es lo que se conoce como voz activa. Yo canto, ¿ve? Yo hago. Por eso esa voz uh -huh. activa. Yo hago. Yo canto. En cambio acá el énfasis no está en quien canta sino en lo que hace. La mm. canción es cantada por mí. ¿Eh? Entonces, esto es lo que se conoce como voz pasiva, porque no enfatizo yo en quién es el que canta. Ah, no habla de alguien en sí, ¿verdad? No necesariamente, ¿verdad? Aquí sí se menciona, porque digo by me. Por mí. Usualmente, cuando yo quiero mencionar quién hace la acción, se usa esta frase, by. ¿Ves? Ah. Todas veces se usa by. 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 Por, o sea, por mí, por ti, por la gente, por, por, por los clientes, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, este ejemplo en el libro Por ejemplo, fíjate, si yo, si yo digo inglés corporativo is known as an excellent English Academy. Aquí no menciono por quién es. Digo, inglés corporativo es conocida como una academia excelente. Pero no digo por quién. Es conocida por mm -hmm. quién. No lo digo. No, no es como tan necesario. Se sobreentiende. No hace, falta, no hace falta mencionarlo. Pero uh -huh. si yo quiero mencionarlo, tengo que agregar by uh, the students. Por 
por los estudiantes. Uh -huh. No reconocida por los estudiantes. Ok. Pero no ves como, como el énfasis no está en quién lo hace, a veces ni se menciona. Uh -huh. El énfasis está en que es reconocida. Uh -huh. Por eso se conoce como voz activa. Porque no se menciona quién hace la acción. Sino que habla de sí en la acción, que ahí es el, el, el enseñar, ver que es reconocida. Uh -huh. mm. En cambio acá, Ay. en este ejemplo, es diferente. Porque yo digo, inglés corporativo es considerada una, un proveedor eficiente. Por... Insafor. Aquí sí menciono por quién. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Pero por, como menciono por quién, uso la frase esta. La... Bye. Bye. Por. Insafor. Por. Mm. ¿Ya? Sí. Eso es la diferencia entre la voz activa y, y la, la voz boca. pasiva. O sea, si yo dijera esto mismo en voz activa, yo lo tendría que decir de esta manera. Insafor. Y ves, el énfasis está en quién. Considera. Afor. Considers. Sí, es corporativo es un efficient provider provider Insafor considera inglés corporativo un proveedor eficiente es lo mismo dicho pero poniendo énfasis en Insafor en Insafor ¿Verdad? Que es el que no, considera. Voz activa. Voz activa. Ajá, ya lo entendí. Y es que voz pasiva. Entonces la Bye. voz pasiva se forma usando el verbo to be. Más el past participle del verbo que estamos. Del verbo principal. Uh -huh. Así se forma la voz pasiva. Debe to be más el past participle. Vaya, Tich. La passive voz. Past voz. Eso. Aquí tenía más ejercicios, pero no puedo. The new printer is by the company. Sí. By. Hay que usar el participle de by. A participle de by. Que hay que saber. Sí. Oh. Hay que un verbo regular, va. Sí. The new printer is bought by the company. The company. My car is repaired. 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 Mm -hmm. By the mechanic. Mechanic. The machine are operate, operated. Okay. Operated. Operator, video operator. The office is clean up. Mm -hmm. Every day. 7 a.m. The factory is uh -huh. open up. Open. Open it. At 6 a.m. I am. They. 
de ahí sí. Ahí tengo que poner algo en, entre el no. day y el are. Y yo sí que dije, they are trained, el verbo. Train. No lleva el IVA, como tiene ahí otro espacio, ya no porque el are hace la función del list, porque está hablando Exacto. de ello. Exacto. Trainer for the new department. I am evaluate, evaluate, ed, evaluate. Mm -hmm. Evaluated. Evaluated for the new position. Evaluated. Mm -hmm. Eso es. Fácil voz. Más que todo de aprenderse los verbos va en la forma para poder. Exacto. Okay, los past participles. Yo so, cuando uses el verbo va a ir en forma pasada. En pasado participio, no solo pasado. Porque pasado no, es lo mismo. no es lo mismo el simple past que el past participle. Uh, ok, teacher. Ok. okay. Okay, Sarai. Have a good night. Good night. Thanks. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.